Bill Saul, Montel, Princeton Green Lake co-head coach. You guys just, I mean, they got the onside kick kind of to tilt momentum in their favor right from the get-go, and, and you guys never really seemed like you were able to, to wrestle that momentum back away from them after that. No, yet, yet. We, we had a hard time getting it back, but uh, they're a good team. Um, I thought we could play with them. Had some uh, bad luck, and they came on top. Probably the one good opportunity, one real good opportunity anyway. Um, you cut it to 12-7 and got into the locker room trailing only five after a couple um, turnovers that cost you guys in the first half to only be down five and come out in the second half with a chance to get back in it. You had to feel all right about that, huh? Yeah, we felt really good about it. We, we thought we, had, could, we could win this game. We thought we had a chance. Uh, ball didn't bounce our way a couple times, and that's what happens, I guess, in football. Uh, Any given Sunday, right? Yeah. You'd like to, I, I imagine, um, just going back at it, you'd like to have that chance back in the first half. Um, after they had scored, you drove down inside the one and, and then Noah yeah. got sacked and then the interception there. Yeah, it didn't, didn't help, did it? No. At all. Um, kind of speechless tonight. Uh, I think uh, we came to play hard. Uh, a lot of good things happened. A lot of bad things happened, but uh, they took us this time. Four and four, three and three in the conference. You have to imagine that, that that'll put you guys in the playoffs. Um, I guess just where do you go from here now? I mean, you're in the playoffs and... In, in, in one day at a time from now on, so... Hopefully things will pick up, and uh, they showed some good enthusiasm tonight. After the second half, they started finally hitting on defense, so hopefully we can get their offense working and defense working, and everything will be fine in the playoffs and surprise somebody. Bo Sandelback, I guess, um, he wasn't out there tonight. He's, no. He's been uh, battling in a, a condition, I guess. He uh, had a bad asthma attack. And so he's, we're dealing with that right now. So, well, I guess not not to get you know too in, in depth, but is it likely? Do you think or possible that he'll be back for the playoffs? He will likely be back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then last question, I guess. Fun night for you guys in terms of wearing the pink jerseys, and um, you know a lot of a lot of places are doing that now in the month of October with the breast cancer right. awareness. But I think. Uh, pink football jerseys that's you guys didn't just do the socks or you know no, the, no, the we shoelaces went, we went as much as we could uh it was a good th it was actually a thought from the seniors last year they wanted to do it and we, we weren't able to do it last year but we brought it back this year for them kind of in honor of those guys and uh it was, it was a good turnout and i think uh we raised some money for the organization i don't know how much yet but uh i'm, I'm sure it's a good turnout Anytime you can do something like that, nobody nobody exactly. really loses, huh? Exactly. Awesome. Anything else, Bill? No, we're all good. Awesome. Good luck in the playoffs. Thank you.